Lightning stricken cactus and it starts to rain The smell of steamed asphalt since it novocaine Nature's brew of all kinds of things The mountain sunk hill sky color schemes Makes you forget about all types of things You remind me of the Arizona thunder Satisfied and the father says this is a house. It is. <laughs> this is a tiny, tiny house. The smallest house in Porto. Endless roads to the horizon. Past the oasis, it's all behind ya. Mirage of Agua, the stars above ya. The creature's days to nocturnal days makes you forget about all types of things. You remind me of the Arizona thunder. Satisfy the times and make you wonder about the bigger picture in your life. Simple times in the Arizona thunder, the Arizona thunder tonight. Right guys, so I was going to go to Livaria Lello. I think that's what it's called. I literally can't even remember. Um, and look how long the freaking queue is. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to go. Because look how long it is. Ain't nobody got time waiting around. It literally goes all the way over there. Like, I'm not waiting for like half an hour to an hour just to go in. I'm not. I have been so exhausted, so tired. I had the loveliest day yesterday with my father. She interviewed me for a podcast last year and she's Portuguese and she lives in Porto. So she met up with me yesterday on my first day and showed me around. We did a lot of walking. I probably did like half of the sites. Like I saw a lot of Porto yesterday. I sadly picked the wrong time to come to Porto because the weather is not great for the three days that I'm here. We're gonna make the most of it. My impressions of Porto so far, um, it's very nice. I think it's really nice by the river, the Ribeira area, but I prefer Lisbon, definitely. <laughs> I've just realised I'm the only one in my hostel room at the moment um, at all. I think everyone else checked out 
this morning so i'll give you a little tour i'm staying in porto lounge hostel i chose this hostel primarily because it's right next to the bus that i need to get to the airport because my flight is incredibly early so that's mainly why i chose it also because it's it's decently priced um i think it was like 17 or 18 euros per night it's very central close to everything in porto and breakfast is included i'm staying in a eight bed female dorm but it's been empty i've only yesterday there were only two others here so we all kind of have our own bunk bed each um but this is what it looks like so there's a bunk there and then you get like a nice cute little full-length mirror and then Another bunk bed here. This is where I'm sleeping. It's a nice view of the patio and there's also like a nice little balcony area. That's part of the hostel too. And then just another one here. Each one has like a plug next to it. There's like a plug up, up there as well. You get a light, a little um, shelf for things you can put. Um, and then you also get a locker, standard in hostels. And they're very spacious as well. So, it's my stuff in there. Yeah, that's pretty much it. What do I think about staying in hostels now with COVID? What is it like? It's a lot emptier than usual. As I said, I've only seen two others and I checked out this morning. So, unless other people check in later today, I'm the only one in this whole room. <laughs> um, bed was very comfortable. I got a good night's sleep. Haven't really, I've like spoken to a few people in the kitchen area where I've just been chilling, like the communal area, but generally there's really not been that many people compared to when I usually stay in hostels when traveling is like a thing. Um, yeah, it's just very quiet. Very, very, very quiet. Just on my way to the pharmacy now to get my COVID test done. Oh, last time it actually really hurt. Well, not really hurt, but hurt more than all the times I've had it done previously. So, I hope it's not going to hurt that much this time. She's gonna tell you exactly what you want to hear. She doesn't mean it, but she needs some. So I have indeed come back today. I came today at 9.20 and there's still this queue. There's about 30 people in front of me, but I'm willing to wait, I think. In I've got my book, I can read my book. Not a huge amount of people in front of me, not like yesterday. And there is, I mean, I've got time today. I have time, so I'm gonna wait. If it gets too long, like if it gets to half 10 and I'm not inside, then I'll probably leave. But I'm in the queue now. <laughs> Hopefully it goes fast. I'm not gonna buy my ticket until I'm like very near to the front. Guys, the queue has come. It's all the way down the street and then it's literally looped back. That is crazy. That is really crazy. I'm 
now on my way to an immersive 360 Monet and Klimt exhibition thing um, at the immersive, this is an immersive museum here that is apparently the first one in Portugal and it's the largest because they recently opened a temporary one in Lisbon but, and I saw that one and I didn't realise they had it here so I booked myself onto that and I'm walking down this steep hill <laughs> to get there but I'm excited because it's meant to be really really nice and I really like Monet so I'm looking forward to it I feel as I've got so much packed in already this morning um, I also woke up incredibly early and went to Salvento train station as well when no one was there and got some very nice pictures and videos a bit empty when there's no people um, which is really nice because I think the tiles are so beautiful but anyway yeah I'm just walking down this hill to Cafe Majestic. I'm climbing up these steep, steep, steep stairs. And I remember when I was on the top of the bridge, I was, we were looking down when I was with my father and I said to her, I would not climb up this way. And here I am climbing up this way. We got blankets. Amazing. Yeah.
Mills are just so cute. They prepared this like little breakfast package for me because they knew I was checking out early. I'm really not hungry. I have had about three and a half hours sleep. I feel sick. I've just had, you know, a few hours ago, I just had the chips and chicken nuggets. I just do not feel hungry, but I need to eat this before I go through security.